Update, boss lets his workers fight over a piñata filled with money. So just to let you know how this went down. There wasn't just money in the piñata but also buttons. The person with most buttons won a big TV. In the previous game the winner was allowed to choose a prize from the raffle table. The boss won and went straight for one of the two TVs. So comes the piñata, people putting hands full of gravel in bags to search it for buttons. People selling their buttons for cash. Remember last year I got a blue eye haha? -ha. Well, my girlfriend won the big TV and says she's going to ask if she can swap it for some days off. I am still speechless, but I was asked why I think this game is wrong and I don't know how to express myself, my GF says it's just a bit of fun and doesn't see what's wrong with it and even feels like I am attacking her by criticizing the game she played, as if I were making them out to be idiots for participating. Sold cars for a while in college. In our sales meetings, occasionally the GM or SM would motivate the crew of salespeople by throwing a bunch of $1 and a few $5 bills into the crowd. There were about 50 salespeople and I'm the only woman. In the AM shift, there were probably 30 of us there. These guys dove, fought, jumped, rolled around on the floor to get a few bucks. I had about $6 just land in my lap. I did not participate otherwise. SM asks me if I like money. I respond, not enough to degrade myself by rolling around on the floor for $5. He was annoyed. What an asshole. Nobody realizes Squid Game was actually a series of HR training films. Management should not get to participate and be able to win. It should be for the worker bees only. It's a lot of fun to toss food before starving pigs and watch them root around in the filth for it. It's a lot of fun to toss coins in the street and watch the poor root around in the filth for it. It's a lot of fun to put money in a piñata, give the poor bats, and watch them fight for it. This is the same statement. Three separate times. That's definitely a workers comp case waiting to happen too. There are definitely ways of doing a similar giveaway that is just as fun without the degradation and physical violence, and of course your bosses will have zero interest in those. Because that is the point. They probably imagine that as part of the fun. This is so degrading. Our company has a raffle. I usually opt out as a manager. I think all managers should. But that's just me. We did bring out plus ones and a couple of those won. There so were senior managers. His idea to pick a pair of children from each region of the country to battle it out to the death fell through so they were forced to settle for a piñata. Make the poor fight against themselves for baubles. How quaint. S. My company has an annual beard growing contest with cash prizes. You can imagine how all the women felt. Every year the email announcement always ends with something like, women are welcome to participate. Too haha. At the very least, they should have done it as a donation to some prostate cancer research place. You know, for the whole no shave November thing and why it became a thing. But purely a toxic masculine event with name calling if you don't participate. Bore on the floor https colon slash slash u2 dot be slash dyke 3 c2 mbu c equals mh82 xrdc slx weot demeaning i imagine upper management sitting behind a two-way mirror while touching themselves buttons the nazis had pieces of flair they made the jews wear this reminds me of the black and white photo of two British ladies dressed in their Sunday best all. Smiles while they throw coins to Vietnamese children circa 1900. Just another day at the zoo for them equals. 
This is the same cringe factor as bum fights. May the odds be ever in your favor. Prime example of, the only way to win is not to play. I'd enjoy this quite a bit if I was younger. Now, it's just not worth the potential injuries. Sue there is your boss and you have a stick and thanks to the blindfold deniability. This sounds awesome. When my company started out it was a total boys club. And they had one of those hurricane machines that you fill with money and the person walks out with whatever cash they can grab. They would especially like to put the girls wearing skirts in the machine. Once the company got more legit and got an HR department they ended that practice quickly. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.